Hello guys, so have you ever been in a situation whereby we want to create a Mac application or an iOS application but you are running, you are using a Windows or Linux machine. Well, same here, I'm also using a Windows and I've been stuck sometimes trying to build an iOS app. So today I found the solution and here yeah, we'll be using the codemagic.io and it's just simple to use just create your account and sign up with your github or gitlab or wherever you use to upload your code and here you just add an application since i've connected to my github so i'll use github here and select it and then i'll choose the repo that i want to use here so let's say i'll use the connectivity that i created that time and yeah you just add this finish and well it will load and choose the platform you want to build for so i want since i want to build for ios i also build for android i want to build for ios and this is the machine we'll be using because of ios mac os 8 gig ram with quad core you can build for ios android web and mac os then you can check your build triggers trigger on push trigger on request updates i won't be touching this but then if you want to build for a specific flutter version you can choose here but i'll be using the one which i wrote my code in the xcode version and you can also choose the mode if it's debug release or profile i'll be using the debug and you can also just check things here distribution you want to sign it i won't be signing it because i'm building for debug and i don't have an apple developers account yet then i'll save the changes and start my build so the build is supposed to take less than 60 minutes but I've selected 60 minutes here and if i build these are the things it should do so i don't really want to stay through this process so i'll pause the video and just show you guys when i'm through and the build is true and actually this took just 2 minutes 21 seconds and see how fast that is and let's check build it for 1 minute 40 seconds publish it and clean up and okay here is the zip file now you can see this looks big but actually no it, this is not the real size of the file other things are contained in the zip folder so you just download this and you can you get your .ipa which is the which is the extension for your ios app so you can just test it on a normal device and download it if you enjoy this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and if you also want more videos like this comment down below the type of video you want and like this video i'll see you in the next lesson